a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Did you know right away that this was someone that you wanted to be with long term? Hey people, people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So this video, I find it very, very, very interesting. You guys know sometimes coming on social media and discussing about terrible relationship. Sometimes it's almost like are there people in good relationship ever? So this sister came online to ask people in happy, stable relationship to share their story of how they knew that was their husband or that was their spouse at the time. How they knew, was it a God feeling? Was it a fast born? Was it, how did they know? Because she went to talk about how normally they usually say on, the, uh, on social media that men knows when man, a man sees a woman that he knows is his wife, he knows right away. So she wanted to know from the women's point of view that are in a happy, stable relationship, how they knew that was their own person. And for me, I'm here for this. Like you guys know I'm here. This is a type of conversation I love having. And also, I also want people to know that as much as we talk about toxic relationship and tell women signs to watch out and how women are going to censor themselves, there are also good men and good relationship out there. It's just for us to be in the right space to spot them and know them. So anyway, guys, let's go check out what she has to say and then we'll come back and talk more. This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Did you know right away that this was someone that you wanted to be with long term? Did it feel like a high? Was it more like a slow burn? Were you unsure for a long period of time? We talk a lot on this app about how men know right away if they want to date someone. But I'm really curious about women's perspective, especially in like the first six months of dating someone. I want to know your own take about our question down in the comment section. If you are in a happy relationship, I want to know your own take on this. When did you know and say, okay, this is it. What was it? Okay. This video got a lot of women talking and sharing their story. A moment in a happy relationship, sharing their story. But also, I want to know your own take. Before we get into this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? What did I do to you? Okay. We we'll post video every single day and you don't want to miss the amazing conversations we are having here. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it so you get notified once we upload video. We post two videos, okay? So you don't want to miss. So let's go check out what women have to say. What are their thoughts about this conversation and sharing their story? Let's go hear what they have to say and then we'll come back and talk more. But go ahead and share your own thoughts. They're in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Did you know right away? I did not know right away and most women I know didn't know while a lot of men say they do. And I have a theory on that. My name is Mahi. I'm an astrologer and coach who helps women use their birth charts to shatter their love triggers and in my experience, it is so common for men to say that they knew it was love at first sight, that they knew it was their partner. And I think it's because men are socialized to perceive their intuition as pure knowledge. Like a lot of men don't even realize how intuitive they are because they simply perceive those downloads as not. Whereas a lot of women are socialized to perceive their intuition as a feeling or as a sense. And so even though the two people might be experiencing the same thing, the way that it's perceived by each partner is totally different. So I definitely didn't feel like I knew, but I had this sense that I wanted to be in my husband's energy for a that are in happy healthy stable relationships or marriages with men right now did you know i have my own personal answer to this question but i also have a consensus gathered from speaking with lots of different women the truth is how you're going to feel when you meet your future husband i don't know for some it's passion like they've never felt before for some it's slow and maybe even boring at first but just about all women in healthy marriages will use this one word when they talk about how they felt when they met their future husband and the word is safe relationships can start with a variety of feelings but if you don't find yourself feeling safe it's probably not the one also very few women will say this word but you can hear it in the way they describe how they felt and that is respected they felt respected and seen as a full person i've actually felt safe and respected from a few men even some that didn't want to marry me and just wanted something physical from me but i knew that going in there was no guesswork or lying or manipulation all of those men are so golden in my memory and the ones that want a long-term relationship with you they don't make you guess either. This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. I can't help but be a little bit embarrassed anytime I say this out loud, but the way that I knew was because my now husband was playing soccer at the time. This is years and years ago. And it was when we first met. And I remember within the first like 
couple of months of dating, I specifically thought to myself, like I was driving home one night and I was like, if he gets traded anywhere in the world, I'm going. I was like, he can get traded to Poland. We're there. I was like, he can get traded to like the middle of nowhere and we are going. Like I'm down, I will be there. And I remember like, like the physical response of me even thinking that thought scared the heck out of me. But what I will say is that to this day, I still absolutely feel this way. And I think that that was my new baseline for how I wanted to feel in a relationship. Because ironically, in my previous relationship, um, I think we were supposed to like go to school together or something like that. And I just could never make sense of it, could never make sense of it, could never make sense of it. He was living on the East Coast, I was still in Texas, and it just wasn't coming together for me. So the fact that I knew that despite all of my friends and loved ones and family, that I still just wanted to be with him and do life with him, that really spoke to just how easy it is to do life with my honey. So anyway, I hope this is helpful because that definitely was my benchmark and just something I've used as a reference whenever I'm talking to somebody about how to know the person might be the one. Ain't that right, Bubba? Maybe one day. Huh? One day. Oh, yeah. About how men know right away if they want to date someone. But I'm really curious about women's perspective. You know when they say that a woman's intuition never lies? This is the moment as a girl to listen to your intuition. When I tell you I knew I was going to marry my husband within the first encounter that we ever had solely because of the way that he challenged my perspective, I just knew. Like there was just a sense of like calmness and ease that I felt with him that I literally never felt with anyone else before. And when I tell you that the first six months, even if you don't feel that high right away in that moment, the first six months of that relationship, you are going to know if you want to marry that man or not. Personally, for me, that's how it was, but you're going to feel a sense of growth and confidence and empowerment that you've never felt before with any other man. It's different. Like everything flows the way it's supposed to flow. Everything's natural and you never question yourself. Like you never question the relationship. And still six years in, I literally still have butterflies. This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. My husband and I met six years ago and we waited a month before we went on our first date. I wanted to kind of get a feel of him by talking over the phone, texting to kind of see where he was at. When we met, I wouldn't say it was love at first sight, but it was definitely like something I've never experienced before. It, it, he felt like home. That's the best way I could describe it. He, I felt so comfortable with him. There was never a moment throughout our date until now where I questioned where I stood in our relationship because he made his intention very known. He's very much upfront with his feelings. He showed me through words and action and all the things. He could be something as simple as like me cooking a meal and he will literally tell me, oh my God, this is so good. Thank you so much for doing this for us. Like he's so thoughtful and caring and loving. And that from the very beginning made me feel very like nice because every time I would date someone in the past, I always like question whether they really liked me or I always questioned myself and felt very insecure in those relationships. But in this relationship from the very beginning, I felt absolutely amazing i felt so secure he made sure to tell me every single day how beautiful he thought i was and anything that i wear however i do my hair whatever it is he's just like oh my god you're so gorgeous you're so beautiful i love you and things like that one of the things that he did when after i gave birth a couple years ago um i exclusively breastfed for a while so he would wake up with me at night time and just like sat there and would rub my back um while i'm like feeding our baby and then he will say like thank you so much for taking care of her thank you for loving us thank you for doing this for our family he never i never felt alone like even me going through pregnancy going to postpartum and whatever it is he made sure that i felt really good like he is the true definition of a teammate like he has my back 100 percent like when we got to a place where I was just like, I feel very overwhelmed with taking care of our house and the baby. He was like, say less. Hired uh, someone to come and clean our house once a week and <laughs> things like that. So and I'm like, okay, I'm overwhelmed with laundry. Okay, let's look into laundry services. Anything that he can do to make my life easier, he he does for me. So that's what made me from the very beginning 
felt very secure and good and knew that it was different and six years later we have a beautiful home we have a beautiful daughter and we are the happiest that we've ever been and i'm so glad i took a chance on him and we're here so yeah <laughs> This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriage. If you've never been in a healthy relationship before, this is what it feels like in the beginning. And as someone who's been in multiple toxic relationships before, this was the first time I felt this way. When me and my boyfriend started dating, there was so much certainty in the relationship. And the reason why I felt so certain and safe was because he did not play any game. It was easy, I didn't even have to second guess whether or not he liked me or not. I wasn't overly anxious or shutting down, there was lots of communication. And that was something new because most of my past toxic relationships usually started with a spark. I always felt this thrill of emotions of, oh my goodness, does he like me? And I now realize that that spark that I felt was anxiety. Because the truth is, when you're in a healthy relationship, your person makes you feel safe. They make you feel at peace and your nervous system is regulated. And at first, if you're used to the toxic cycle, you might mistake this as boredom, but it's truly just you feeling at peace and you no longer seeing love as ups and downs or chaos. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit anxious because of how sure he was. For me, I was scared to get hurt again. I didn't want to be in a cycle of toxic relationship. And although I did the inner healing work, I was still anxious. But over time, that slow burn kept getting warmer and cozier, and eventually, I just felt safe, and I knew that it's okay to trust. But comment down below what your experience is with being in relationships. It's so interesting to see that so many of y'all in healthy relationships experience that slow burn as well. Follow for more. If you're ready to break the cycle of toxic relationships, you can book a call with me. But as always, you got this. Healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Did you know right away that this was some? I met my husband February 2019 June. He asked me to be his girlfriend July. He told me he loved me October. He proposed and March we were married and the whole marriage thing maybe isn't for everyone but I, we've been together for five years I knew from dating I was like this is my person I didn't have to guess I don't think it should be hard to know if someone is committed to you if you have to guess or wonder sometimes it really just is that simple if he's just not that into you and kind of like the movie of course there's always exceptions but nine times out of ten you're not the exception like you're just it just not because you're not the exception, but the situation isn't that. And why waste months and years with someone guessing if they're committed to you? Girl, you just, when you know, you know. Men that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Did you know? Yes. <laughs> I definitely think it was something I knew right away because it was easy. I think we're also conditioned to think that with anything good we want to have, it's supposed to come with suffering or that we have to suffer before we get to the good part. Mm -hmm. And I think that women are told that so often so that they stay in situations and relationships longer than they really need to. Mm -hmm. And it ends up leaving them questioning themselves. The reason that I knew that my husband was the person that I was supposed to be with is because it was easy. There wasn't a lot of questions. Now, that isn't to say that, you know, we didn't have disagreements or that we haven't ever not been on the same page, but his response to those moments let me know very quickly that this was a person that I could have a life with, and I knew. This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. She wants to know if people in those relationships knew whether they wanted to be with their partner, like, immediately, or if it was a slow burn whether you felt like you were high and like really excited to be with them. So I've been married for almost a year and have been with my partner for four years. There we are. In the past, I used to think that when you found your person that it would be like fireworks, you'd have butterflies, you would just like be so moved and excited yeah. to be with him all the time. And when I met my now husband, I was like, things are peaceful. Like, I enjoy spending time with him, all of that. But I was like, there's no like, I'm not going crazy like I want like I feel like I should be going crazy like mm -hmm. mad like the whole concept of being madly in love and then over time I remember having a conversation with one of my friends and I was talking about that I was like I want like butterflies I want to like feel a little crazy and she was like don't you think butterflies are just a bad gut feeling and I was like no I've had butterflies before and then I thought back to those relationships and I was like those are terrible that was actually some of the worst experiences I ever had and the more I thought about it, the more I realized this whole concept that we see in the media of being like crazy, wild, passionate love. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Maybe for a handful of people, that's true. I personally don't believe in that. Don't get me wrong, I eat it up on Bridgerton. In fact, it makes me run to my husband and I'm like, I need you to court me. But at the end of the day, the things that assure me that I made the right decision in my partner or like my brothers were visiting last week, my husband took such good care of them, is like always thinking about like what would make them happy, what can we do, what activity. He's always so concerned about my health. When I'm really mad, he's so quick to say I'm sorry. But maybe from an outsider's perspective, they're like, oh, he doesn't really get her flowers. They don't really go on that many dates. They don't do blah, blah, blah. But I'm so happy. I'm really happy. I'm content. I love my husband. He's a sweetie. We bicker about dumb stuff, but he he's my best friend. He's one of the only people that actually makes me laugh. But in my opinion, when you find the right person for you, it should feel peaceful. And sometimes people confuse peaceful with boring and therefore not a good match. But I think Mm -hmm. that you should lean into that. I think the more like fiery and quick something is to start, the quicker it is to burn down. And I also think people who talk about their relationships on social media and like, I have the most perfect, beautiful husband. Like he took me this and he bought me that, blah, blah, blah. Those relationships often end up hiding the fact that they're really unhappy inside. I'm not Mm -hmm. saying that's true for everyone. Obviously, I just told you that I love my husband dearly and he's wonderful. But it was to answer your question, not to tout what I have, right? We've all heard the things about the longer the Instagram caption, the weaker the relationship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Again, it's not a universal truth, perhaps, but it's often, often true. But if you feel safe with someone, if you feel respected by them, if you feel cared for, even if it's not the dramatic, flashy kind of cared for, and you feel at peace with them, to me, that speaks much more highly than I am falling madly in love. This is a question for women that are in happy, healthy, stable relationships or marriages with men right now. Okay, so this creator goes on to say that this app talks a lot about how men like instantly know when they want to be in a relationship with someone and she would love to get like the women's perspective. I have been with my boyfriend for... Um, just a couple of months over a year now, we're about to celebrate our one year anniversary. We decided our one year anniversary is going to actually be the day that he met my daughter. So it's kind of like an anniversary for all of us. But with that being said, prior to meeting my current boyfriend, I stayed single for over six years. So this is the first serious relationship I have been in since me and her dad split. Um, I really took the time. I was a, you know, decently like, you know, in my 20s trying to navigate being a single mom, um, really starting back from square one. So dating just was not in, it just wasn't a thing. And I will say that taking that time to get to know myself allowed me to be able to recognize the type of relationship that I wanted, but also created a lot of things in my own head that I didn't even realize that I was going to have to kind of work through while in a relationship when I first met someone. So it was for me, I would probably say almost instant. I would probably say about five dates and I knew that this was someone that was going to be in my life. Um, In what capacity? I wasn't a hundred percent sure because we took things pretty slowly and looking back on it, I'm pretty thankful of that now. However, I instantly knew that this man was different. He was special and I'd never been treated so well, been so heard, validated and considered. Um, But then as we became more serious, I did have like my own complexities to work through because I had like my own PTSD. So I would say for like me and and maybe other women can relate, let me know if you do. It was very much like an ebbs and flow things, but more because of the trauma that I had experienced in my past relationships and almost like thinking that this was too good to be true. And fast forward to a year and some months later, I still have never been loved so fiercely, unconditionally, been heard. My needs are met both emotionally and otherwise. And I truly feel like I'm dating my best friend. And we very quickly, like after, you know, making things official, decided like, 
we were working towards introducing my daughter, what that looked like. He met my family, my friends first to get that stamp of approval. And this man had no questions, qualms about going through all of these hoops for me. And I just couldn't be happier. So, but I do think for women, it's not quite immediate. We might get that immediate feeling, but then if you're like me and kind of have a bad track in history, I questioned my immediate feelings. And so we took it slowly, even though I kind of always knew what I wanted. So that's my experience. I hope it helps. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section, but please keep it respectful as always. If you have your own story, please, I would love to know your own take. If you're in a happy, healthy, stable relationship, go share your story down in the comment section and let us know, was it an instant one? Was it a slow bond? Was it a fast bond? Go down in the comment section. And you guys know I love reading from you guys and share your own thoughts. So yeah, it's my own thoughts. Some of you guys don't know, I've been with my husband for almost 21 years, dated for 10, married for almost 11 years now. So I feel like in this aspect of being in a stable, healthy relationship, happy relationship, I think maybe I can speak on it because my marriage is something, or my relationship with my husband is something people consider perfect marriage or perfect relationship, even though our marriage is nowhere close to perfect, okay? But that's what society would deem it fit as perfect marriage, perfect marriage and all that. One thing, uh, like, I know you guys know my face can lie. Like, if somebody says something that got me, uh, 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 my face to tell. The lady that was talking about how she knew and the first thing she felt was butterflies in her stomach. No shade to her story, not letting down her story or anything. But one thing, like the other lady said, when you start having butterflies in relationship, that is just an illusion that media, that society, that novels, movies sold to us. Like, oh, you need to start having butterflies and all that. Have you ever thought when you're in trouble how you feel? Those were butterflies too. So I personally, I don't believe in I start having butterflies and all that. No, you have to start reading in between the lines. And one of the things I will say for you to be able to identify if someone really wants to be with you, if this person is going to be in your life, is first you doing the work, which is one thing we stand on 10 to the on this channel. Is you doing the work, knowing who you are, what you are, and then living in your purpose and being intentional in your life. And the crazy thing is that when you are in that space where you, uh, you're you doing the work, you're doing your healing, you're healing your trauma, you don't attract those toxic type of men. Yes, some of them will come, but those men, men that come to you, they know that this is not to be messed with, this is serious, this woman knows exactly what she is and what she is, and this woman does not send her men. She wants to be with a man because she wants to be with a man, not because she has to be with a man. And this man, they sense it. So you're going to filter all the rubbish out from the good ones. Like we say here on this channel, we're not yet to hate on men and say, oh, all men are bad. No, there are good men out there, but we need to get them out. And so when you identify, when you see it, get to the way to know how this man treats you. For me personally, this is my own story. For me personally, I remember when we went for counseling when we were about to get married in the church, we, get, we got married my dad's church. And um, a marriage counselor asked, Neither. oh how did you know this is your husband did God show you a vision or something I was like no how I knew it's my husband is because this man can handle me at the worst see I'm one of the most difficult person to deal with like I know myself I'm one of the most difficult person but this man like I said we have a long term relationship this man has handled when I mean handle me he has able to navigate my feelings like Help me make me feel secure happy and all that and that was it i was just like this man can take my madness can take my rubbish this is the person that would tolerate me no matter how like bad it can be he would tolerate my bs because i know i have some bs i have some baggage and that was it and also for him too he knows that ah i can take his bs we do have our days where we come at each other like okay stand on ten toes on business and all that but one thing for sure is that he knows I have his back. I know he has my back. And that was 150%. So at that point, that was it. Like, ask yourself, what are you looking for in a relationship? Like I've always said here in this channel, people get into relationship 
for different reasons. Some people get into a relationship to look for a partner. Some men get into a relationship to look for who is going to clean for them, who is going to cook, who is going to be a mother to them, who is going to produce children for them. You as a woman, ask yourself why you get into a relationship. Are you looking for a provider? Are you looking for a child? Do you want companionship and all that? I got married for companionship. I'm saying it out loud. I got married for companionship, not for money. I know how it's going to work and I don't mind doing 50-50 because being uh, having a provider was something that already scared me so it was just easy for me to easily like okay this guy is a companion it's going to be a turn to hate my friend and all that and the crazy thing is that i actually at a point particular point in my time i centered him a lot that's not to say that i don't center him anymore i'm the center of my life i'm the main character of my life but he's a big part of my life and that's not going to change anywhere. We don't have a child together, but we still choose to be with each other. For me, that says a lot. Because sometimes some people be in this relationship state because, oh, they already have children. Let's be in it. Let's deal with each other. Let's tolerate each other. But no, in our own case, we're here because we want to. And for me, it's a slow burn. It's going to come eventually. But you ask yourself, what is this you're looking for in a relationship? And the way the person treats you, your intuition, your discernment is going to let you know. One thing I realized is that a lot of women ignore the signs and their intuition when something is off, something is not right. We kind of, oh no, kind of make excuses for them. And when, you're, when you've gone into the healing journey or your, your healing journey, your intuition is clear. You don't second guess it. Or like when you're not, you don't know if it's trauma or your intuition talking to you. And this is why we advocate for women to go do the healing process and know who they are. So that they can easily identify when it's their trauma and when it is their intuition telling them something is off. Anyway guys, I really love to know more of this happy relationship, yeah people's story. I really want to know because sometimes I feel like we really get sucked in into the whole oh, bad relationship share bad relationships to everybody there are also people out there that are in good relationship and one thing i wish for all my ladies out there is not just to be in a relationship but to be in a relationship that helps them to be a better person and brings genuine happiness and peace into their life not just being in a relationship because they want to be in a relationship anyway guys i love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section but please keep it respectful as always you're on this channel we're allowed to disagree but we'll do it in a respectful way so go ahead and share your thoughts don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl yeah with that all said guys subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video Goofy.